Hi guys, welcome to my Jedbra Castle slash jail update on what happened when I attended a ghost hunt there recently. As you may have noticed at that point, I did set this away, digital recorder. This is because every time I do one of these videos, something in this house always wants to intrude on them. Um, and so I thought, well, what better way with evidence on this and this than well, hopefully, you know, any skeptics out there might or might not believe it if we get on two different sources. So, what I'm going to do is this is recording now, as can be seen by the lights on it. And what I'm going to do is just place this on the bed out the way. There's nobody else in the house before anyone asks. Um, I'm going to try and remain quite still during this as well. I'm just going to place this down there and we'll review both later on and I can see what I catch. So, here it goes. There's going to be two of these today because I want to do a bit of an update of uh, spiritual stuff that's, you know, stuff that's been happening. Um, that's my laptop bag. Uh, stuff that's been happening and also what's been happening in the spiritual church and stuff lately. But Jebra Jail. I'm going to put some pictures on the beginning of here. I didn't take too many pictures because I couldn't find my camera in time. Very lazy of me. However, I'm going to get a few pictures of, of what it looks like. Uh, for those who don't know, Jedburgh is in Scotland, just over the border. It is a jail, but it looks like a castle. Um, it's like a mini castle, best way to describe it. Like the walls aren't very big, but it's all complete. It's all there. It's a very interesting building. I recommend if you're in up and around Jedburgh, go and have a look. Lovely little town. Anyway, these are the same guys that organised the one at Saltmarsh Hall, which um, I'll put a link to that video and what happened there in description and this time without the most haunted crew because you may recollect the last time the most haunted was there Colin Stew however they've had a bit of a falling out of uh, professionalism that sort of thing so you know I don't know what's happening there totally but something's happened I'm guessing a couple of people just attended for them so I don't know if they were there for the ghost hunting and I don't know if that impacted on stuff however that's enough about that. So, Jedbra. There was 21 people there in total. I went with uh, four other people, including my housemate. Um, Demel's the same person I went with last time. And two other people as well. So that was quite good. It was a group of five of us. Got there. Same total as last time. Got split into three groups of seven. There was me, the, the four girls, and a Scottish couple as well. A Scottish guy is called Damien and had 666 tattooed on the back of his neck. Not the best start for, but never mind. Um, so, yeah, basically, there was three areas to go in. There was the correctional block, there was the men's only cells, and I can't think what the third one it was just upstairs in the main building. I don't know if I had a name. Um, however, it used to house males and females and had a wall down the middle of it, but I can't remember what kind of block it was. However, right. So, first room we went into was the male only cells. We went in, uh, walked upstairs, and the weirdest thing ever was that there was butterfly wings everywhere upstairs. The bodies were at one side, the butterfly wings were just everywhere. I'm talking about hundreds of butterfly wings. I can't begin to tell you how many there was. What was happening there, I have no idea. Um, but, you know. I have, I don't know why with this wing set from the body, who knows. We all got in, um, it was quite light was the only problem at the beginning, there was some emergency light and I moved upstairs anyway. And the seventh group were basically stood in the main corridor and done a bit of a session. We had the, the K2 EMF detector there, we had the singing ball. Singing ball is something which apparently attracts spirits. So I just tap it, go like that around it, um, and it makes this, like high pitched sound, and that apparently tracks the spirit in. However, in the first one, um, we didn't get too much activity. Um, there was a couple of bangs and a couple of taps and a couple of noises, and at times it was a little bit chilly. Um, however, that one I wasn't quite impressed. I left it a bit like oh, a bit there. Not much happening there. 
So, yeah, anyway. So we moved into a second room where a little bit more happened. Um, these vigils, by the way, are about an hour long. So when I say not much happened for an hour, not much happened for an hour. However, there was a light at the end of the corridor and I had my back to it and it went off. And I was like, whoa, it was like a sensor light. So basically if someone breaks the sensor light, it goes off. And I was like, okay. Um, and then went off again. And I got the most uncomfortable feeling ever that I did not want my back towards that thing anymore. So I stood up and back to the wall for the rest of it. And then after that, it sort of quietened down after that. Uh, the spirit box came on and it said a couple of words. There was a name uh, that came through it. Uh, strangely enough, one of the girls with Demelza, her grandma, I think it was, lived in Jebra and her name was that. So I don't know if it was a personal one or some sort of spirit that was there. But never mind. There was a couple of noises and stuff like that. Second place went to, uh, there was not much happening, so went into a cell. Sat down in the cell and the K2 meter, which basically measures electrom electromagnetic fields, um, which apparently spirits or ghosts are supposed to give off. And that started to go a bit wild. And through questioning, uh, we ascertained that this spirit was called William, that he was a child. Uh, William was given to us by me and another woman in the room. Um, that was just names that popped into our heads. However, there was on the board upstairs, the name William, subconsciously for me i didn't say anything because i thought well is it subconsciously that i've picked up on the fact that i've read that sign or is it someone called william however small child we gathered just by asking questions and watching the detector go up and down so like certain questions nothing other questions was sort of flying off the chart with the amount of energy um so i had a bit of a conversation with william as we're called and gauged that he was a child you know the energy was quite low there like it was really cold at the bottom i started walking around with a malmeter which measures temperature and emf like you know electromagnetic fields and generally it didn't it didn't move at all i'm not gonna say it did there was one very small instance where it moved from 0 0.4 ems i don't know what the measurement EF it is but to two just like that and then went straight back down so it was almost like something did just go straight past us um so i don't know what that was but yeah, that was um that was that was interesting. Um third room went into and it was too light. It was it was daylight basically in that room. That was me moving that curtain. And that had the connect center set connect sensor set up, that's a mouthful. What it does is measures if a spirit apparently connect can pick up through PC if a spirit enters the room, which would be amazing to do now. I'd love to have the connect point over there. Just to see if anything walked in and what it does is measures the you know it can sort of stick figure anything i've seen it used on ghost adventures a few times um so demelza sat down there and you know we've done the singing bowl thing and tried calling out nothing at all i've never felt so empty in a room ever like it just felt it didn't feel like there was anything there i can usually feel when there's something there hence why i keep getting picked on by spirits and I didn't feel a thing. Like it was just empty. Went into a cell, it was pitch black at that cell, and there was a few taps. What taps were with other people? I don't know. So I went downstairs, and five of them decided to do five or six of them decided to do the Ouija board, which I oh, the Ouija. I said again. I said it last time. It's a character of Mario, the Ouija board. Um. So the set it out on the table. Um. I. Didn't take part because I don't want to take part in that sort of thing. First thing that came through was someone called Graham, who didn't want to speak. So he said Graham uh, answered about two questions. I went a goodbye. He was obviously, he couldn't be asked. Uh, secondly, something tried to sm smell, spell the word Demelza. It looked like anyway, but then stopped. Like it got almost to Demelza. So it went Demels then stopped. That was weird. Then something came through that was just mixed match of letters like it was all over the shop like just random letters and one of the people with said well if it's random letters maybe it's someone who can't spell why don't you ask him if he can't spell so they asked him you know can you spell so on site ask is your name william and 
yeah, that's when it got interesting. So, so how does that you, William, again? Went straight to yes. Again, I don't take part in this. So I can't verify anything that happened. I just watched. Um, they then asked it how old it was. It said it was eight. They then asked how many people were in the room. It said nine, which there was nine. Asked how many boys were in the room. It said there was five, which how many it was. No, four. That's how many it was. And how many girls were in the room as well. There was five. It said that on the thing. They then asked it, um, are you alone? It said no. Were you kept here against your will? I went yes. Um, I can't remember a few other questions. And then it said, do you know anyone who's here? And it starts spell E and M, but there was like two M's. Uh, and the lane, so there's lots of E's and M's and stuff. So, But the session ended at that point, and loads of people started coming in the back room, so that ended it. And that was it. So, um, yeah, Jebra Jail, nowhere near as good as Salt Marsh, but Salt Marsh was epic. There's no word about that. You know, that was amazing. Will, I don't think I'll ever, ever go to a ghost hunt that was that good. That blew me away. This was interesting. Um, I think as a first timer, it might have been good, but as someone who's been on this Salt Marsh one, it wasn't as good. However, they're even more convinced or unconvinced. I left interest again, interested. Um, the scientific person in me wants to say, right, I want this, that, that, everything. I want to document everything that happens. To me, I would love the connect sensor pointing out the door. I would love an HD night vision camera pointing out that door. The reason I'm doing this daytime is because I'll explain in the next video. Because what happened last time. I would want digital recorders around the house, everything. I would just want to document what's in this house. And I would just love to have all the equipment in this house and just see what I can get. Um, the group's called Ghostly Goings On. They're fantastic. Really good group. I'd highly recommend going with them. They're very professional. A lot of fun as well. They, uh, you know, have a good laugh when we're doing it. And they're quite interesting. And I think they usually buy about £35 all over the country, north to south, I mean, look, West Scotland. They're from Gloucester sort of area, I think, down that way. They do things like Bodmin Jail, that sort of thing. So they move up and around the country. I would well recommend them. They're brilliant. Lots of fun. Um, Skeptic, believers alike. All I can say is just, just, you know, open yourself up. If you're a believer, that's fine. You're going to love it. If you're a skeptic like I was at Saltmarsh, you might leave convinced. Um, it's very, very interesting. And I really enjoyed it. But that's about it. So that was Jebra. A lot of fun. I can highly recommend it. And I think on that note, it's time to end this. Be interesting if we caught anything. And I will be back in a second with another video. Thank you and goodbye.